Hello, everybody. I just finished eating a vegetable because I eat vegetables and stuff. Today, we're talking about the vegan teacher. So let me get this straight. Your mom doesn't want you to be a good person. Now, I haven't talked about the vegan teacher in a long time. And the last time that I even mentioned her, I was speaking to her in person. That's right, I interviewed her. She came to my house and stayed there for multiple days. Is scissoring real? Um, I'm... It was interesting. It's really interesting. And now it's become more interesting and more relevant and more pertinent. And I'd like to explain it because it's fucked up. All right. Yeah. If a police officer saw somebody kicking a dog or trying to pin a dog down, steal her puppies and drink her milk, police would be like, what the fuck's going on? In the distant future, our grandchildren's grandchildren will read history books. They will read the documentation of the rise of social media and what came out of it. There will literally be a chapter dedicated to creators like the vegan teacher. How is it that vegans can say that there was a terrible person for stripping down individuals and bringing them into gas chambers, but when their own family members pay for six month old baby pigs to be murdered in the same way, somehow that seems to them to be excusable. Creators who rely on outrage for exposure and reach and to maintain relevancy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Provocateurs, they are called. Wherever there is war in the world, there are also so many animals who are suffering. Just think of all of these families who have pets. The vegan teacher outside of politics is one of the most stark examples of this type of behavior. Vegans are better than God. That's right. She's a fascinating woman with a very unique style of content. And that style of content is saying things to make people mad in the hopes that she prevents animals from dying. That's what it is. I heard that there was a man in Alabama who was executed with some gas as opposed to a lethal injection. And a lot of people were getting very upset and saying that this was brutal and inhumane. And meanwhile, they're just sitting there, you know, eating bacon, sausage and ham. Recently, I made a video on PETA and I sort of explained their process and how I do not think it's very logical. It doesn't make a lot of sense to approach this sort of thing like this. And I think that the vegan teacher is just an extension of that. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, because I and you might be like, well, dude, didn't you invite her to your fucking house and you platform her? Yeah, I did, uh, because I thought that would be the right thing to do. You know, 80 percent of life is just showing up, mm -hmm. right? That's true. I tell, I tell it to my students, too. Like, you, you know, like if you're if you just don't want to come to school, just at least put your ass in the chair. And even if you're not paying attention fully, you're not doing your homework, you're at least there and you'll right. get something. Looking back now, I, I'm just stupid. I'm just dumb. I was just stupid. And I thought that it would be fun and cool and interesting. But it re in reality, I regret that whole... I don't regret interviewing anybody, to be honest. Also on top of that, which we're going to be getting into today, you may have recently seen that Miss Katie has been on a bit of a descent into insanity and pure just unbridled delusion. Lately, her videos have accelerated into something that is just fuck, fucked up. Firstly, I will talk about my complicated history with the vegan teacher. It all started in 1996. My mother's sister, the vegan teacher. Just kidding. She's not my aunt. That's just some shit I made up to confuse people because I do that. I don't know. I like to just say shit that isn't true because I think it's funny. I have no relation to her whatsoever. And I first saw her when many of you saw her a few years ago, three or so. I first stumbled upon her, made a video. It was fun. It was cool. Talking shit, punching down. It's always fun. It began with the vegan teacher trying to spread her cause. And that cause was to go vegan no matter what. Always eat vegan. Never harm animals unless you absolutely 100% have to. And even then, don't. If your so-called friends and family are paying people for the rape, and the torture, the kidnapping, the confinement, and the murder of innocent animals, how on earth can you justify that and say that these are good people? I probably saw her first on TikTok, and then I'm sure I saw a YouTube video. She has 2.6 thousand fucking videos, which is ridiculous. Animals are just the same as you and me. No. No. Can an animal get a business loan? I made quite a few videos on her as well. There's a whole playlist. I made a bunch. She just is dumb and it's really easy to make fun of her. I mean, you guys have maybe have seen the videos. I'm not sure. They're not that good, to be honest. And neither are hers, <laughs> to be to be really brutally honest. Why? Why is Gordon Ramsay an animal bully when his 
instead of eating meat, he could just eat protein-packed veggies. From the beginning, it is easy to notice that she has an interesting way to get others to stop doing to spread awareness really and prevent people from doing what she doesn't want them to do which is stop eating animals and consuming meat maybe you were holding on to your own umbilical cord i don't know i probably had my pecker in my hand maybe you're holding on to your own little <laughs> oh! <laughs> she was in my head at this point she knew exactly what i was going to say at all times Pretty funny. Pecker. I still say the word pecker. I haven't changed that much. I couldn't win, but neither could she. It was a stalemate. We were butting heads for a long time. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God, not this guy. Oh, Christ almighty. Why did they give me commercials of him? She got a Gordon Ramsay ad on my video, bro. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, donut. Oh. It was a bit of a love-hate relationship. And by that, I mean... I do not see her as a threat. I do not see her as someone who is really doing any damage. And it's just like kind of fun to make fun of. And like, she's not actually hurting my feelings by saying shit about me or whatever. That's just, it's just an easy sort of content thing, really. Yeah, she hates me. She didn't like me very much. She literally said it. Our feud continued for a little while and eventually something beautiful happened. She ended up in Texas. She agreed to come visit me. I thought she was going to pull out. I tried to be as respectful as I possibly could. I got her phone number. I was like, hey, is there a chance you could come down here? I've been doing these interview things. I would love to sit down and talk to you. You know, I'm not going to try to try to try to refute what you're going to say. I'm not going to try to shame you or whatever. I just want to hear what you've got to say and see if we can make an interesting video and, you know, see if there's anything beyond just the, the very clear grift provocateur thing that you're doing online. And we drove all the way to my property out in a fucking in the middle of nowhere where there is now a trebuchet uh, on that property. And I convinced her to shoot a gun. Uh, yeah, I'll have to reload it. <sighs> oh, did I hurt you? Yeah, my balls hurt. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. By the way, we had RSOs, and we was ready, bro. I'm just saying, there was a lot of safety that went into this, and <laughs> I shouldn't say, yeah, I won't say anymore. I, we went... It was very safe, though. The whole gun thing was incredibly safe. We went out, we ate vegan food, which I've got some interesting stories about that. We did a little dancing. Do you think I should buy a matching skirt? Sure. Would you wear this outfit if you were me? No. And overall, I had a good time, I would say. The bitch has so much fucking energy that it is tough to keep up with her. And I'm busy as fuck. She does nothing but care about animals and make horrible songs and like fucking talk shit about people on the internet which is kind of what i do but she does it in more of um i don't know just like a dumb like a just a vegan way <laughs> so it's like kind of boring and weird stop breeding animals just to eat them stop creating them just to be cruel stop breeding animals don't fucking touch them stop being an asshole that's the golden rule overall though it was okay i'd be lying if i said if i said i didn't have fun it, it was an interesting time it was really interesting to get to know her she brought her husband down he was a really cool regular guy by the way extremely regular she would do shit and he would be like she was a good guest. She's entertaining. She's funny. She had a lot of uh, energy. She was, she believes in something, which is hard not to respect, even if it's just absolute fucking insanity. All that being said, she is a crazy vegan and a misanthrope that absolutely goes too far. And now she has devolved into a sad shell of her former self. You should always see the good side of people. For example, him. Which... Is crazy to say because she sucked in the very beginning and everyone thought that, but there was still something there, some kind of nugget of positivity. Maybe she is doing good for animals, but no. She's dug herself so deep of a hole now. The right phrase would be fa a fall from grace, but there was no grace. It's like falling from one circle of hell to another one. And multiple circles have held down. I believe she's actually lost her, her mind and completely ruined her reputation beyond the point that should even be fucking possible online. It was non-existent when I interviewed her. She was already rock bottom. Nobody fucking liked her. And now it's gotten worse. Miss Katie has had a bit of a past with just calling out creators, starting beef with people online in hopes of getting a response video from them, which, you know, it's free views for everyone. It doesn't hurt either of the creators. It hurts her, actually. She's not doing a very good job. <laughs> she thinks she's a martyr, but she thinks that if a million people watch, one or two will turn vegan and and 
stop hurting animals or whatever. She did that with me. She's done that with PewDiePie. She's done that with Ryan Trahan. And she's done that with my beautiful girlfriend, Christina, who she's done a lot of horrible stuff to and said not she's done nothing horrible to her. She said a lot of horrible stuff. And Christina is an adult. I'm not going to speak for her, but I know her very well, believe it or not. The vegan teacher's words do not mean anything at all to Christina, nor do they to me, and nor do they, I assume, to Ryan Trahan, whatever. This is all just fun, but she, the vegan teacher, has created an entirely new level of just shit that she has now incorporated it into her entire personality and reputation. She's consistently said this, but she says that there's a Holocaust going on and that is the Holocaust of animals dying. So many murdered animals keep coming into these restaurants everywhere around the world because of people like you who encourage people to go there. This is an absolute devastation. It is a Holocaust that is going on. And she compares the Holocaust uh, of reality of World War II and the regime to what is happening with animals which is not even remotely the same thing because they're fucking animals they're not people it doesn't matter no if you want to equate humans to animals that's fine but you are on the losing side of of any sort of rational argument or any sort of fucking scientifically provable basis of psychology whatever the fuck it is you're just going to be wrong there's gonna be like a couple thousand people there beside you, but you're going to always be wrong. Should they be treated with respect? Absolutely. She made a fucking Palestinian white male comment in regard to Ryan. He is nervous. He is nervous. There are people right now who are being bombed to death in Palestine and he is a white male in a car and he is nervous. She has an awesome dead body musical break cemetery musical break like the the, the the videos they're just bad there's very they're very bad she calls ryan a coward which is a slur and i think is off offensive to cows probably have you haven't seen the documentary yet have you watched dominion i bet you haven't you're too much of a coward aren't you and that's just recently with ryan on to my girlfriend now be vegan everybody because you can because you don't want to hurt the animals look why love one but eat the other? Because one tastes like chicken nuggets. <laughs> and those are delicious. She's done this a lot with Chris for a long time. One of Chris's most viewed videos on YouTube is just her fucking proving her wrong. What's in your hand there, vegan teacher? What is this? Oh no, we're about to expose the vegan teacher. And making her seem like an absolute idiot because she's using crayons in her video and their animal product. It will be shocking for some people to know that creating crayons requires the usage of animal fat. Crayola crayons are not vegan. Oh no. <laughs> and now, you know, I have a history with the vegan teacher and now, you know, she has a history with Christina and now me and Christina are, a, you know, a couple and we love each other and we stand up for each other. And quite frankly, Miss Katie can't seem to keep her name out of her mouth and she's just, making things worse for herself. When Miss Katie found out me and Christina were dating, she was pretty excited. She made this little epic TikTok, which is so cool. She's excited for the wedding date. She also said she wants to come down to Texas, which uh, she has also texted me that as well. She wanted me to, she wanted me to have her come down and and uh, me and Christina interview her, which is not gonna happen. And quite frankly, I regret ever inviting her down and treating her with respect. She also said she loves us or me i guess on this thing but it didn't last long because in november of 2023 she posted another video apologizing to her audience and then for begging for forgiveness from her audience for introducing us i'm sorry but i owe you an apology unfortunately i introduced call me chris to somebody whose name is umpaville which she didn't do she did not introduce us she claims responsibility for her our relationship she says that she told me that we had similar senses of humor that was in my interview i told umpaville when i was down in texas being interviewed by him that i thought that the two of them had the same sense of humor and they might get along but I didn't realize how dark that sense of humor was by the way i was with christina before that video came out uh, by the way, I, I I had been talking to Christina actively. I was talking to her while the vegan teacher was there. Just for your information, I knew who she was long before. Vegan teach says she came to Texas because I promised to watch the Dominion documentary, and I did, and guess what? I don't give a fuck. You see, I went to Texas because Om Pavel promised that he would watch an important documentary called Dominion, one that I hope you will all watch too. And so I had hopes that he would become vegan, and then if he and Call Me Chris would hook up, that they would be a decent couple and 
become vegan together and help to change the world and save millions of lives. She then says that the two of us together are very dark and disturbing and she regrets being the reason we connected in the first place, which is not true at all, not even remotely true at all. I can see now that the two of them together actually have such a dark sense of humor and it's kind of disturbing. So I'm very sorry that I ever introduced them. I wish I hadn't. The comments, hater, obviously. And this, this is one of my main points. She is completely harmless. Like you guys don't even have to comment. You don't have to watch any of your videos. You don't have to on my behalf do anything or on Chris, well, I'll let her speak for herself. On our behalf, my behalf, you do not need to go and tell the vegan teacher she is wrong. She doesn't know she's wrong, I don't think, but like it just, nothing she's done has had any sort of effect. Genuinely, I actually believe that. And I she's dug her herself a hole by saying horrible things about people, people that are cared about by a lot of people. It's not a good way to get things done. It's it's people have cognitive biases. Psychologically, it doesn't work. Maybe to 10 people it does, but then it's just a phase. They forget. There are no people who support the vegan teacher. There are just bots. That's it. And that's not my fault. I didn't have to make any videos to do that. Christina didn't have to make any videos to do that. Nobody had to make any videos to do that. That's all her. A couple weeks ago, she uploaded a video called Hitler was a nice guy too. Sometimes just like your own family members. And it's like, I, I assume at this point, she's just trying to make money because she can't get a job anywhere. She's fucking insane. Like why would anyone want to be associated with her in any way? Why would a vegan, a vegan group? <laughs> want to be associated with her in any way it doesn't make sense nobody's safe from the vegan teacher not even vegans like hitler <laughs> i think he's a vegetarian or some shit i don't fucking care i'm glad he's dead the main point of this video is her calling vegans out her fellow vegans out for not being okay with what hitler did to jewish people but being okay with what their friends and family do to animals how is it that vegans can say that hitler was a terrible person for stripping down individuals and bringing them into gas chambers but when their own family members pay for six month old baby pigs to be murdered in the same way somehow that seems to them to be excusable i mean like i don't even know what to say really it's like i do i, I don't really need to say anything like you'd have to be on crack to think that that's a good idea and vegan already by the way because of cognitive bias she's trying to point out the flaw in people's morals and compare things and trying to be smart and artistic but it's not an argument that should be taken seriously so if you ask vegans do they think that hitler was a cruel person or a good person they will all say he was a cruel person straight out without hesitation. But if you ask them if their own family members and their own friends are cruel, without hesitation, they will say, no, of course not. Why do they do that? Why do they lie about that? If I saw someone like this and that's how they, they speak and that's how they're trying to galvanize people into doing the right thing, I would never want to be associated with anyone like that. And aside from the animals, it just doesn't make sense. And by the way, this is not an original thing that the vegan teacher does. I forget the fucking dude's name because I don't give a singular fuck, but she told me in person that the person that she gets all of her her ideas from, the, the person that she's following in their footsteps, who's this militant vegan guy from the fucking 90s or early 2000s or whatever, he, she's just doing verbatim what he used to do, but applying it to the internet. It's just like, I don't know. It's just a, it's a really niche group of weirdos. She also says in this video that we live in a vegan phobic world, which is hilarious. The reason that vegans lie is because we live in a vegan phobic world a world that is so difficult to be vegan in, to be an outspoken activist. Vegans are ahead of their time. Vegans are not a marginalized group. They're just a group of people who are making a conscious decision to not partake in certain societal behaviors, which is respectable. No one's stopping you from not eating meat. No one's stopping you from eating vegetable like i don't know the vegan phobic it's just it's it's moot like i said it makes no sense i don't think you should be able to pretend that you're under attack if you're clickbaiting that hitler is a good guy uh and saying that if you're not vegan you're worse than hitler that's just my opinion i don't really know though i'm not that smart and i'm autistic so like <laughs> this isn't her first time saying hitler's a good guy by the way she made a video two months ago it's just called hitler was a nice guy i don't even care what's in the video this is just fucking stupid person says the thing about her meaning me is that she only sees the bad side of people and not the good side like me not vegan i volunteer at an animal shelter every saturday wow what a nice person so you volunteer at an animal shelter and then you go home to pay people to murder chickens, cows, and pigs, and then you shove them down your pie hole. Good work. I mean, hey, after all, you know, I agree with you. We should always see the good side of people. 
For example, Hitler. Even if it's hyperbole, it doesn't matter. It's it's ridiculous. She doubled down on the Hitler was a nice guy thing because it has 140,000 views and because it got her more views and made her money somehow. It made her money. I really don't know what's going on because in the interview section, she seemed rational. She seemed to have like sort of a basic understanding of like the world and, and she's just trying to get her viewpoints across and she's doing absolutely whatever it takes but it's kind of devolved into just, into just this weird dogmatic cultish thing it start a new religion and the new religion should be a fun place to go every sunday morning at 10 30 everybody goes all your neighbors your family and they're singing there and there's a potluck at the end obviously it's going to be vegan she said that vegans and her by extension are better than god and if she was in charge of the universe that she could do a better job than god which is like I assume she's trying to make people mad, but that's like something that would get someone put away for a really long time, like a century ago <laughs> or six centuries ago, burnt. Of course vegans are better than God. Yeah, he doesn't even follow his own commandments. It clearly says in the Bible, thou shalt not kill, but then he created these lions who kind of kill the zebras, you know? Yeah, if we were in charge, we would do a way better job. She doubles down on that and says that God does nothing while vegans are fighting to end the war on animals. Yes, good job. You listened. Vegans are better than God because they are helping every single day to end the war on animals, whereas God is doing nothing. What about you? How are you helping? And by the way, guys, I don't know if you've watched all of my other videos. I tried not to do the easy, low-hanging fruit thing where it's just like, oh, I eat a steak while I react to the vegan teacher because I, I don't know why. Every time I see any of your content, I just look out my back porch, which I have a beautiful view of a bunch of land and there's animals everywhere. And I take one of these weapons that I have that are all laying behind me that can reach out and touch something accurately, consistently at any point. And I just do that to some animal. That's a joke. I don't actually do that. <laughs> that would be funny though, wouldn't it? It's also actually cultish, by the way. She says she's going to create a new religion. We're going to be creating a new religion where we praise, not God, but we're going to be praising like good, you know, just add an extra O in there or something like that. And we're going to be talking about um, worshiping the things that are good. So what's good out there? Well, rain is good. Water is good. Water nourishes us. You know, air is good. That gives us oxygen. We're going to be praising the earth. We need the earth to grow vegetables. And we're going to be praising gravity because without gravity, we'd be all fucked. We'd all be just floating around everywhere, right? I don't know. She's fucking gone off the deep end though, for real. And speaking to that, this was all inevitable. This woman is chronically online. She's addicted to the internet like a child like a child with access to a phone she might not be able to help this i think she has something wrong with her that is preventing her from being a rat like it's it's actually excluding her from existing in society effectively like there's something so wrong with her that this will prevent her from ever doing anything that she wants to do ever again she will never have a job ever again she will never be loved on the internet or respected by anyone that respects themselves or others. The thing she believes in most, I genuinely believe she's been a, 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 a power against it, ironically enough. I mean, just take, for example, other vegans. There are vegan communities that hate her completely. There are vegan communities that fucking hate her. She's gotten all of her shit banned so many times. Most other vegans are just kind of normal and cool and people People like him. She even has a Discord server linked on her TikTok pages and none of these people, they don't like her, really. They all just talk shit about her. Most of the people in the server are not vegan. So I don't understand why she has that. In her Discord server though, there is some epic mental gymnastics as you might expect. It's not fun. I still get picked on by some of my friends as a joke. Still not fun. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't deal with being made fun of by so many people, to be honest. I like being socially popular. I still think I value my popularity over that, to be honest. I like being popular and well-respected amongst my friends. And our one vegan friend gets made fun of all the time. I don't envy them, but I do respect them for standing up for their principles. Then this fella named Abe says Hitler was popular. That makes a lot of sense to say in response to someone who is... Uh, appealing to the social nature of human beings. There are very few vegans who actually like her. In fact, I think the only vegans who actually like her are in her Discord server and maybe 50% of those people. So there's a thousand. There's a thousand people in the world who like 
what the vegan teacher is saying. And that's sad because clearly what she's doing is not working. She's completely addicted to the internet. She obsesses over every single comment. She can't put her phone down. She posts so many times a day and most of her posts are just responses to comments. Like it doesn't, this is her job, but it shouldn't be. She should be doing something else. This is a complete and total waste of human life. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. I hope to never ever talk about her ever again. I'm sure once this goes up um, that uh, I'll, be, I'll be getting a text message, I'm sure. Um, I texted her recently and threatened her not with like bodily harm or whatever or anything like that, but there's some stuff that's been going on that has driven me to the point of doing this and I believe uh, Christina is also going to do something like this just to you know final nail in the coffin hopefully and, and uh, I implore you guys by the way don't go hate on her don't go harass her do not do not go harass her don't look at it just block her just mute her block her whatever you want to do whatever you think you need to do just block her and then ignore just cut her out of your brain okay she has no effect on you she has no effect on anyone she has no effect on anything genuinely she is a bad person i do believe at this point and her influence is entirely meaningless so anyways guys have a good rest of your night and go enjoy a steak or some chicken or something like that and tag me in photos of your delicious meal on twitter all right i love you thank you